by Whitman. Nice clean win there. Wrapped around the boards. Kept in by NC State, though. Now Park in behind the net here. One timer. That goes. That sails wide. Net comes off. Bogard will just throw it back on. 124 left in the Morgan penalty. Now wrap around the boards. NC State will go on the four track. Here's Lions. Now Kentucky able to clear. Nice clear there. I'll go the length of the ice. Bob knocks some time off this field. He gets going to hop off. And you'll see Valerino come back on. Now here's Lions with an opportunity. Smart he'll, move. He'll get around a couple defenders and just wrap it around. Here comes Whitman, though. Put a little bit of pressure on for Kentucky. Still 4-1 to score. 740 left in period two. 46 seconds left on the Wolfpack power play. Lions been in the way. Now here's Valerino. He's going to play it deep. Kentucky will get some fresh legs out on the ice here. Valerino, Saris, Lions, and Fid on the ice for Kentucky. Nice play from Lions, breaking up the play a bit. Looking for a centering pass. Saris will get a skate down to deflect it away. And Lions in behind the net. And he'll clear it out. Oh, Vitt's going to duck out of the way here. <laughs> Let's take Taylor Vitt's head off. Firing that one. Ten seconds left. On the Morgan penalty. That one was almost enough to kill this power play off. And it is now over. Oh, Ryan takes a hard check. So now NC State 0 for 4 on the power play. Kentucky is 2 for 6. Excuse me, 2 for 7. Nope, 6. Say that one more time now. 2 for 6 on the power play is Kentucky. We were on the kill there. I know. Oh, okay, you're just making a point. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Clear out the zone by NC State or by Kentucky. NC State will wrap it back in. They'll get some fresh legs out. Wipe will play it up to Valerino. He'll drop it to Vitt. Vitt's going to look for the open man. He gets it to Glass, and Glass fires one, goes in behind the net. Battle for the puck here. Kentucky hasn't been able to get a stable offense going for the past five minutes, six minutes now because of penalties. Whoa. Whoa, that one sneaks through the crease. That fire through the top of the crease. Luckily for Borgard, Alec Barge Bargeboard was not able to get a shot on that because he had the side of the net open. And we did have an icing, and it'll come back. 5.49 remaining in the second period of play. Still a 4-1 on your score. It's, it's, almost, it's foreign territory to us to th at this point in the period to have nobody scored, especially... Kentucky with as prolific as they've been offensively. The big guns out there for Kentucky right now. Face off one by Vitt. Nice He'll get it to glass. He's got Valerino charging ahead, but nice back check there by Masulis to take him off. There's a shot. Nice save from Borgard. Good kick save. Great reflexes there. Now in behind the net is the puck. Valerino, he gets thrown up against the boards. There's a shot and another save by Borgard, and we'll have a faceoff. Well, NC State's bringing the pressure on Borgard once again, much like they did early in the game, but he's up to the task so far. Made a very nice kick save on a hard wrister from Lons, a twisted wrister from Chris Lons. Trying to play a twisted sister or something? I, 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 well, I, it's not original. Yeah, swing and a miss. I didn't make it up. I yeah. still like the line, though. Yeah, that's true. That was almost like a TJ moment. It was actually a John Butcher Gross <laughs> ESPN moment. Yeah, I know. Here's Alex Holmes coming forward now. Alex Holmes fires a shot with a man in front. Kept in by Morgan. There's another shot. There's a save. Still kept in. Here's Morgan now. Oh, he faked him out. Graham with possession. He avoids the check. He gets around one. Can't pull the trigger, though. Puck's still alive, and he goes got, in. I think, I think it's McLaughlin. Yeah. McLaughlin got that one. So Kentucky now makes it 5-1. I think it's McLaughlin from Graham and Morgan.
So nice play there, Kentucky. Able to extend the lead, five to one. 4.48 left in the second. Dustin. Uh, Dustin has nothing to say right now. <laughs> Matt McLaughlin gets on the board for Kentucky. That is his third goal of the season. 5 1 to score. Oh! Penalty coming up, though. Checking from behind again. Is it going to be on NC State this time? It will be on NC, NC State. It's Riesling. <laughs> So Kentucky with another opportunity here. I think Big Scott's getting tired. Hungry too, I think. The coffee hasn't kicked so in So now yet. the seventh power play of the night for Kentucky. They've scored twice, the same as they did last night, two power play goals. So once again, four power play goals so far in this series. Incredible work. Face off one by Kentucky. Cats with possession here. Big guns out on the ice for the Cats. Here's Valerino. Saris looking for Valerino. He'll wrap around all the way to Ampleford. He loses possession though. Now Glass comes up with it. He'll throw it back out to Saris. And there's our one of our ever famous chants there. <laughs> Vic gets it up to Glass, Glass up to Valerino. Valerino, he'll get around one, he'll get to Saris. Saris will throw it in deep. I don't know if he was intending on a shot or a pass there. I think it was a shot. Ampleford just happened to be there behind the net to pick it up. Now here's Saris, he'll play it back to Valerino. Valerino tries to cross it to Glass, pass just a little bit too hard though. Now back into the zone. Saris was out of the zone when he kicked it back in. And hits the ceiling and comes back down. We'll have a face-off. Question on the board asking if Kentucky seems content with the lead since the second period has been so quiet. I don't think that's the case. I think NC State has played very well in stopping traffic, getting in front of their goaltender, Will White, much like they did in the first period. Kentucky just hasn't been able to get as many offensive opportunities in this period. And plus their neutral zone passing, once again, has not been sharp. Has not been stellar work getting the puck into the offensive zone to get opportunities. Now wrapped around the boards, puck still alive right out in front. Ampleford tries to sweep it over. Nice. Did White get a glove on that or a pad? Man got in front. But nevertheless, he was in position as Kentucky touches up. We do have a penalty coming up. It's going to be on Vitt, Vitt for interference. interference. So that'll negate the power play. Vitt not happy about that call. So we be, will be four on four for 34 seconds. 3.02 remaining in the second period. Not very often you see Taylor Vitt go into the penalty box. They're falling once, asleep back there. Once Whoa. Wrong side. There, there we go. So a lot of open ice now. Oh, wow. Hubbard deflected that puck and it almost went by Borgard. Boy, dangerous play there. Borgard got lucky. He was head his head on watching the action. Now Rohar skating up himself. He gets taken off the puck. Now here's the Lions. He's looking for the pass. Gets it up to Hubbard. Hubbard tried to cross the over, turned idea. over. Rips the slapper. Nice save from Borgard. NC State back at full strength here. And now on a shortened power play, 120 on a power play now is the Wolfpack. Lions not paying attention to the situation, and he just tries to get a pass. Now he'll wrap it around to Hubbard. Whoa, deflects it right off front and tackles in. And a goal. That's number 16, Chris Lons with the goal. Give the assist to number eight, Jonathan Hires. Borgard just lost that one. It sneaks in on him. 